Hey, it's Shireen, and I'm here to do a quick astrological update on the current full moon in Capricorn because I've had so many clients come to me in the past few days in uh, very intense amounts of distress um, and even a little bit of panic because it is such an intense full moon and it is stirring up our feelings at the deepest level. It's a very purgative full moon and it's just stirring up everything we've got right now. So what I would recommend is to get in touch with all of your fear um, and insecurities and anything that's running you, driving you, um, literally putting a noose around your neck like the chains in the devil tarot card. That's the feeling right now that something um, has us in bondage. It's often our own attachments or fears, um, sometimes addictions, um, insecurities, guilt, something from the past. Um, and it's time to really uh, relinquish that now because the moon on its way to becoming full has crossed over Pluto then it will square Uranus to bring that breakthrough energy that we need. And then after that, we're going to be um, also dealing with the um, sextile to Mars. So it's a very charged full moon, to say the least. And it's opposite the sun in Cancer, which is a very emotional sign. So on top of that, we've got a grand water trine bringing in all the feelings. So there's definitely a lot getting stirred up, as I said. And it's important to stay really grounded not buy into the negativity around you and the news and the media um, and most importantly the the lies of our own mind the negativity of our own mind so don't believe the hype of whatever your own negative thought spirals are trying to to tell you and it's also a full moon of emotional mastery because capricorn is ruled by saturn and saturn is the greatest teacher for uh, mastering our lessons around karmic um, patterns. So we all have a tendency to repeat the same patterns over and over again and this is our chance to really get in touch with where we need to break out of those patterns and do it differently, find a new way and take emotional and um, uh, karmic responsibility for the choices we've made and the behaviors we've allowed ourselves to, or maybe unconsciously, it's not necessarily allowing, but, you know, actions and behaviors that have taken us down roads that maybe we don't want to arrive at. We can break that now. We can change the patterns uh, through a deeper level of awareness and um, acceptance and forgiveness for ourselves and others is really key when dealing with Saturn. Um, it's also Guru Purnima, the full moon of the Guru, and it's about honoring all of the teachers and uh, teachings in our lives right now um, and finding inspiration and faith from um, those who have mentored us, those who help remove the darkness. And that can be a little challenging with a Saturn ruled. Uh, full moon, especially with Saturn in the sign of Sagittarius, which also rules our beliefs and faith and um, is testing us every day to see how uh, strong our faith is. So what I would recommend during this full moon is to really get clear on your belief systems, your own emotional responsibility, and finding time for deep introspection. Um, Saturn really welcomes solitude and the only way we get emotional mastery is to go within and not blame the source of any of our uneasiness or unhappiness or discomfort or dissatisfaction on anything outside of us or anyone outside of us. We take full responsibility for our happiness and our well-being and um, that's the hallmark of maturity, right, in Saturn rules. Uh, the deepest level of maturity on all levels. So I wish you a wonderful uh, full moon and a Guru Purnima, and I hope you're surrounded by lots of light, love, and wisdom.
Thanks for watching.